Well, Hurricane Maria tore through Puerto Rico five weeks ago, and yet three quarters of the island is still without power. Now, as CBS News correspondent Nikki Batiste reports, the company hired to restore electricity is coming under fire. The mayor of San Juan, Puerto Rico, is engaged in a Twitter battle with the company that was awarded a no bid $300 million contract to help rebuild the island's power grid. Carmen Yulin Cruz, in an interview with Yahoo News Tuesday evening, said she thinks the deal with Whitefish Energy should be voided. Whitefish is two years old, has two full time employees, and a handful of ties to the Trump administration. Cruz described the company as inadequate and said the contract lacks due diligence. Whitefish insisted on Twitter that her comments were misplaced. Cruz's response, if Whitefish Energy feels that asking for transparency is misplaced, what are they afraid we will find? Whitefish shot back with a threat to leave, writing, we've got 44 linemen rebuilding power lines in your city and 40 more men just arrived. Do you want us to send them back or keep working? The company later apologized. Lawmakers, though, are eager to know how Whitefish got the job in the first place. My biggest concern is we don't have enough information as to the process that went through that. The other question, can Whitefish fulfill its end of the deal? This appears to be a pretty small company. Are they capable of doing the job that, uh, that I think they're sure. being asked? Yeah. Politicians on Capitol Hill from both sides of the aisle are now calling for an investigation into the Whitefish contract. Nikki Batiste for CBS3 Eyewitness News.